Hello everyone. So far we have worked with single charts on a page. I also showed you how to work with slicers, filters, drill through. But let us see how charts are connected on the same page. So I would like to create these three charts. Sales by subcategory, sales by category and sales by the order date. So let's go and talk about how to connect charts. First, we have a bar chart with the subcategory and the sales value. Let me add a border and shadow here. Next to it, we would also like to keep a tree map where we will keep the category and the sales value. And then below that, we will also keep an area chart or maybe a line chart where we will have the order date and the sales value like this. Now think of the way the charts are connected to each other. When I click on any one of these, you will notice that my subcategory also changes. But what is happening is that when I click on technology, you will notice that it is highlighting the four subcategories that fall under the technology category. But you can change this. So when I go to format, there's an option called edit interactions. Now make sure that you have selected the source chart. So when I click on the tree map, this is the source and these two are the destination. When I click on the bar chart, this is the source and these two are the destination. So when I click on the tree map and I go to edit, you notice there are three options that we have. By default, it has selected highlight. And that is the reason why when I select technology, it still shows me all the 17 subcategory, but it only highlights the ones that fall under technology. If I set it to filter, now you notice whichever category I select, it only shows me those subcategories that fall under that particular category. And then of course you can set it to none, which means that these are not connected to each other. Now remember, if you have disabled the connection, it is only a one way disable which means that when you select the tree map, it will not change the bar chart. But when I select the bar chart, it will still continue to change the tree map. If you want to break the connection both ways, then you have to make sure to select the bar and also select the none on the tree map. This way, these are not connected to each other in either direction. Okay, let's make a duplicate page. Now, what would happen if the two fields are not connected to each other? Like in this case, the category and subcategory are actually connected to each other, aren't they? So let me replace the category with the segment. And let me make sure that my filter on all pages has not been selected. Okay. All right. Now you notice that when I click on any one of these, and if I've selected highlight, look what happens. When I click on consumer, it tells me two numbers. So it tells me that the total sales for phones across all the three business segments is 17 lakhs. But for the selected segment, which is the consumer segment, it is 9 lakhs. This is again a great way of looking at the data. And obviously, if you select filter, then it only shows you the actual value. If you select highlight, it shows you two values. One is the total sales for phones. The other is the sales for phones only for the consumer segment. 